we really couldn't stop them defensively. It made us always um, trying to catch up a little bit right from I mean, early on we were fine, but once we got down, we were, we were playing catch up the whole time and we couldn't stop them. Uh, that affects your offense as well. If you could get a couple stops, then maybe you can get something going. But there we started to make a couple baskets and then we would not get a stop on the other end. And then we'd make another one, but we were trading baskets for a while. We never quite got that stop them and then score ourselves. It's just kind of a rough loss, especially because we came out so strong and we were killing them and then we just had a dip and that dip kind of carried us to the end and we didn't ever get past that deficit that we had kind of gotten in, in that lull. It's a little bit devastating, but I was just telling Barry, like, only one team in the country gets to end their season on a win, so... Um, in the moment where I fouled out, it was kind of like, oh my gosh, this is it. This is the last time you'll wear this jersey. Like, it's just a lot going through. I think this team, even though the outcome was the same, it's playing a lot different than we were somewhere middle season. Uh, I thought that we made a lot of growth. It took us a while to finally figure something out. You know, Ellie was in, Shaq was out, Emma was out. Emma comes back for a second. Ellie goes out, Shaq comes back. We had multiple things happening this year, and so it's just it's a long season, and these guys are resilient. and and tough kids and um, you know it made us coach coaches tougher as well we've learned a lot and um, you know anything can happen we all know that it's March right now I mean this was such a tough season for us we had so many injuries and I think that we did a good job of pushing through but I want them to just keep the Gonzaga legacy going and not let this season uh, hold us down and go back into what we're known for